Hi, I'm John Lentz, a brown belt under Craig Jones, and this is Rolling Round New Zealand from beautiful Christchurch, New Brighton. Woo! Welcome back everybody, so we're into another episode. I do apologise about the uh, time it's been between. I've been really busy, obviously, with my own place, with the boys and stuff, so um, always got stuff going on, so I do apologise about that, but we are gonna try and get some more done now that we're here in Christchurch. So in the home city at the moment, I'm gonna do a few round here in Christchurch, get in contact with a few people. So what we're gonna do is we're doing this one in New Brighton tonight, which is uh, Groundworks. So Groundworks is uh, it's a real special one to me because um, Hayden Wilson runs it there, is my old head coach. So um, I got my blue belt through Hayden and I've known him for years. We've, we've been to Perth together to see his brother in, um, in, in Submission Lad over there in Perth. So it's real cool to come back and um, yeah, he's, he's developing a really cool team here, um, cool environment and some really, just a great week club here, so you guys will get to see that. We'll go have some rolls, and then uh, he'll show us the technique, and then we'll do the interview, so I'm excited. Woosh. Living on the inside, looking out, deciding what to think about. It's a thin line, like a wrinkle when you wink a brow. Spare by times ticking round. What I meant is what you're meaning now. Stand up like the feet are down. Hands out, they believe the sound. The secret people need to tell. It's like a dream, something so personally received. Chasing any person who will lead. Shaking like a serpent in the leaves. Forsaken, yes, I certainly agree. Waiting for the urgency to be. Sailing like a merchant of the sea. Nurtured by the beat. Labor of the verse philosophy. Delivered like a baby date of birth before I leave now. Up and down, puff and smoke. Watch it float till it disappears. Color sound, cloud alive. I've been broke, but I will repair. Up and down, puff and smoke. Watch it float till it disappears. Color sound, cloud alive. I've been broke, but I will repair. But Some say grief changes shape, but it never ends. I tend to ride a lot to keep my spirit in. I feel the lightest when I'm lying in Watch the water, water and drifting the fall, feeling heavy when I'm in the sand. Feeling back the bark from a tree to make you a man. Violence it is in your jeans, loving header in your hands, spreading them like a disease, blind to the bigger plan. See the stars wondering when we'll be one of them. Wanna make a dollar for a last call, slaves to the profit. Culture junkie got me clutching on the objects. Possession for retention, skeletons up in the closet. For real, who's fake? Can't spot the imposters. Selling at their soul doesn't matter. To what the cost is like rice in the bowl trying to hold on to a chopstick cold to the bone and the devil visits often talking bullshit till it forms into carpets up and down puff and smoke watch it float till it disappears color sound cloud alive i've been broke but i will repair up and down puff and smoke watch it float till it
guys, so uh, we've made it here. We just finished up rolling um, with here with Hayden and Brian from um, Groundworks. Uh, so we, yeah, it was a ton of fun tonight. And um, you guys might know these guys from the uh, podcast that they do of Jits and Giggles, which was awesome. I was a part of the uh, second episode. Awesome. So it's cool to actually you guys get to see them roll and everything like that. So we'll just go on. Um, we'll go on to. We'll start with you, Hayden, and then we'll move on to Brian. Yes. So. Do you want to tell us about, well, we can switch the other way, but it's up to you. Uh, so, um, yeah, tell us about how you started Jiu-Jitsu, where you started and where you are now. Uh, okay, I started 20 years ago. Um, I went over to Australia and watched my brother compete. Uh, I couldn't play league anymore, so I had to find something. So I watched my brother compete at Footscrave. Um, yeah, and then I come back from there, it was over... Over, I think it was like in November, come back the following year in January, and I started Jiu Jitsu. Uh, started at the Academy of Combat, like most people did, that was the only school back then. Yeah. Um, and then when I got my purple belt, I uh, opened up my own school under my brother directly, so under Submission Factory. And um, yeah, we haven't looked back then, that's when Groundworks first started. Uh, Brian was my first student out of the garage. I think we did some lunchtime, like. You know, hey, cuz, can you come and do some lunchtime stuff? So we did that, and then, um, yeah, man, just carried on from there. And now we're, yeah, down here in New Brighton. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've been around a wee bit, so I just try to go for different places. Been through the earthquakes in Bromley, and then down and we um, started our Canterbury Fight Centre with Carl Weber and um, Wayne. And then we just decided to go our separate ways. We wanted to concentrate on what we wanted to do. Mm. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Now we're down here. Yeah, that's a cool spot, right? Yeah, and um, do you want to talk about that as well? Because I've met your brother. So do you want to just let everybody know? Because about Stacey, he's an awesome guy, and you know we did a trip and actually went to see him. Me and you, that was an awesome, great trip. Um, to Perth, so, yeah. So your brother is Stacey Wilson. He's uh, what is he now? He's a third degree. Yeah, and he was on. Yeah, he he did. He was in England for a while, and then he yeah. Moved. So he's under um, John Will. Uh, yeah, he's under the Machado um, banner. Um, he's in Perth, uh, out of Submission Factory. He travelled around a bit around the world though. He trained with Hodge Gracie and his father for about five years. Um, and then, yeah, he's got a, a decent sized school and a few black belts under him. He's a third degree black belt. Uh, he's probably been doing it, he's probably one of the longest, uh, around for that kind of mm-hmm. thing, about 24, 25 years for New Zealander. So, um, he has been quite a while. And he's nasty as well. He's the reason why he is. <laughs> he <laughs> made it. No, he <laughs> is. Oh, no, he, he we is. filmed it. <laughs> we did. John, John yeah. has another uh, yeah. YouTube video you can go yeah. back and look on. Yeah, it's yeah. an old school one when we toured, um, toured Perth. So that was pretty good. Yeah, he, yeah, my, it was nasty at that period. And I just remember yeah, him gee choking me and I had headgear on. It was so, like, he crushed in the headgear. It was actually pushing on my... Uh, well, yeah, cauliflower at the time, so yeah, but he actually helped me, he actually drained it, so it's not all bad, but yeah, he's an absolute beast, that guy is unreal, but yeah, so we'll move on to Brian now, so Brian, I remember, yeah, we, we've trained together over the yes. years, and, uh, but do you want to explain your journey? And you yep. So I started in, in karate, and um, yeah, so when I finished doing all that, <laughs> it's not a piece of shit, it's good fun, and then... <laughs> I remember being at a barbecue at my sister's place, and I hadn't seen Hayden in a while, and he's telling about jiu-jitsu, and I was like, fuck, it's shit. It's not that good. And then we went, I went into his place and just trained in the driveway, and after about 42 gi chokes <laughs> and broken knees, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. Yeah, and like Hayden said, it was, I went to, um, well, it was Carl Weber at Universal with, um, with the forest over there, the very first one up in Waltham. I trained there mm. for a bit, and that's when I was doing lunchtime trainings. Hayden happened to get a job around the corner from my place. So I trained lunch times, did a bit there and there, and then Groundworks kicked off, and like you said, just haven't looked back. Yeah. yeah, do you want to explain your story? Because what's crazy is, um, <laughs> I remember when I started, and I used to come down to Groundworks and that, and um, you were missing at the time, and it was oh, Brian, he's missing at the time, and, and uh, yeah, do you want to just explain, if, if you want to, just oh, yeah. in regards to about that? Because it's pretty crazy that you're, you yeah, so I was, here's a twitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, I was blue belt. So when I was a blue belt, uh, same time as the earthquakes. The earthquakes happened and everything, and then just carried on working as per normal. And 
you know, when you, know, you go for a run and stuff and you feel like you're tired and you're like, oh, I'm fucking tired. No, I'm not. You just kind of care. But you're not really tired. You just don't want to run. Yeah, yeah. I was running home from work and I'd gone about 300 meters and I was like, oh, I'm tired. No, I'm not. So I carried on running, got home, felt pretty crook, didn't eat dinner. Turns out I had a mini heart attack and I'd run through it. And I've got a lot of heart issues as well with, with heart valves and stuff. So I ended up getting rushed to hospital, got my valve replaced again. Then there were issues with that. So I got, I got another part of my heart replaced straight away. And then I had a stroke, and then I was good after that. And that's about all I remember, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember a great deal, because so much yeah. happened at once, you have to ask my wife, because a lot of stuff I think happened didn't really happen. Yeah. And um, you know, not like me to tell lies and stories <laughs> at all. But um, yeah, yeah, so after, after that I came back, and then it's, it's been pretty good, and it's just, yeah, something to watch out for. Ticks pretty loud, it's pretty cool. Yeah, because mm. I was rolling there once, and I remember, and I was like, heard it, and I was like, you go, what is that noise, hey? It was like tick, tick, and it got increased because we were going, and I can't even believe it there. That's what's nuts. Like, yeah. hear people, I used to laugh because guys would be like, I remember there was a guy who used to train with us, and he told his flatmates, and he his flatmates go, Oh, do you guys not train in the rain? And I said, Hey, what do you mean train in the rain? He's like, Oh, I don't train, you, you guys don't train when it rains. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> if you're down there in the rain, then you're, you're showing up with this ticker and all this sort of stuff. I'm like, well, There's no excuse, hey? No. It's never an you excuse. ran through a heart attack. <clears throat> Yeah, it was like a mild, it wasn't a, oh, like it wasn't a real attack. big one, it was yeah. just a little one. It was <laughs> a little serious, yeah. just yeah, try and talk it down, eh? Serious as a heart attack. Oh, it's not, yeah, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, come on, uh, nah, get on with it. Well, they reckon that because of all the stuff, all the scar tissue around my heart, my, I think it's true, because one of the levels that indicates a heart attack is always there. So the last time I had a, a, uh, got, got a scan, I was just like, you've had another heart attack. I said, I don't think I have. Like, yeah. I, I haven't. I think it always measures that I have. Yeah. But they, yeah, they're pretty sure that something happened. It wasn't very good anyway. Yeah, but you're, well, you're here kicking with us now, so it's pretty yeah. amazing. But yeah, it's cool. And, uh, and so, yeah, because you guys sort of share the teaching, eh? So there's a bit of like, because you're real busy with your job, you've got a lot going on as well, because you're doing it with your house and everything like that. So you guys sort of share. So, oh, I've been pretty slack lately. Have you? <laughs> so <laughs> Brian, Brian opened up, a, Brian was, um, <laughs> he moved to take his family over to Ireland for uh, two years. Yep. So while he was over there, he opened up a groundworks over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. I didn't bring that up. Yeah. yeah we well, so, can talk about that, talk about yeah, that. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so um, tell us about that. Yeah, so he, he opened up one there and he left it with a student over there. So we still have a school over there as well. Yeah, so yeah, what was, do you want to explain that? So yeah, because you went there with your wife. Yeah, so my wife got a job there nursing and I was stay at home dad. So I went over there and I thought this is quite cool. There'll be a chance to train overseas. And the closest gym was about seven light years away from where we lived and we had one car so I couldn't really get to it. I got a couple of times mm -hmm. but it didn't really work and I found a judo school just around the corner I thought oh yeah cool I'll, I'll, um, I'll go there and I rocked up and I talked to the dude he's like yep so no groundwork just just judo. I was like that's fair enough so we did a bit of judo. I'm pretty shit at judo. I'm pretty good at bouncing on the ground <laughs> but then we did the ne was it and I was all the ground fighting part and I was like cool I can do this. So I submitted them in that but they beat me up in the standing and then once we finished that I talked to the coach Ben, Ben Clayton and he was like this is quite cool, we can, um, do, you want, do you want to do some jiu-jitsu out of here? Yeah. So we ended up just, yeah, just doing a crossover school out of there, and then we affiliated with, uh, with well, made sense to affiliate with my own school. Yeah, and yeah, that's cool. even managed to bring Hayden over, so that was quite cool. So Hayden got a, did yeah, a seminar so, over in Ireland. Yeah, how long, well, you were only there a couple of Double days. Days, that's <laughs> nuts, I flew to Ireland <laughs> for a few days. Oh, you guys more, probably, I think I was more time, I think it was in blind and in the airports than I was actually on the ground. It's crazy, eh? Yeah. It's great though. Yeah, yeah, but they, yeah, they're here. We're coming for you guys in Ireland, mate. Once the uh, once the COVID <laughs> lifts. Yeah, so it's awesome, mate. This is a, a seriously cool club. And then, yeah, looking back, um, even my time with you guys has been pretty awesome, mate. I, looking back, we used to have some uh, amazing roles in the guys throughout. Eh? There's still guys I talk to now that are yeah. involved. And then, yeah, what's cool about us is we we have students that sort of flick between the two. Eh? you've got mm -hmm. you know, e boy comes here. So he's us, and then Dan Rev does the same thing where he does a bit of wrestling and stuff, but it's Logan. pretty cool. Logan, yeah, he yep. comes and sees us. So it's awesome. I really um, think what you guys have got going on here is awesome, and you, you're real close. It's cool because the beach is just down there as well, like. Yep. So, yeah. yeah, amazingly spot. <laughs> Sorry, that way. Yeah, I forget we're facing that way. It's the dominoes that way. That way. That's the river. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, and so, yeah, yeah, so you guys obviously, I don't love the gear too much, but hey, I put it on sure? for you guys because I'm such a nice guy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, do you want to explain your timetable and how you guys, what you got going on? So it's okay. So we we used to do no gi, mm -hmm. uh, a day of no gi, but then we thought, nah, we're just going to do straight gi. Yep. So we do gi Monday, Tuesday, uh, Monday and Wednesday, six thirty to eight. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Tuesday, 6 to 7.30. And then Thursday, I think it's 6 to 7.30. Mm. We'll yeah, something like that. And then we have Fresh, we call it Fresh. They're one of my brown belts, uh, Stevie. Stevie, on a Friday. So it's, yeah, it's, it's a good, good uh, workout class. He does that on uh, 6.30 to 8 on a Friday. And then we'd have an open mat on Saturday. Yeah, man. And yeah. oh, that, that's the other thing. You guys have a lot of black belts, which is amazing because, like, schools around town, there's not many, and it's pretty incredible. So, you want to explain how many you got? Because I know, yeah, the boys are, well, Forrest over there, we can't see Forrest on the camera, he's a nasty <laughs> man, he's a black belt. Yeah, just explain how many you've got. Uh, cool. So, we got, um, oh, there we go. So, Brian, yeah. And then we have Forrest, and we have Dave Kitt, and John, John Erskine, and myself, obviously. Mm. And then we have Scotty, and Jake. Scotty Benson comes down, old school jujitsu. Yeah, I remember him. He's yeah. a really nice So he nice still guy. comes down a fair bit. What does he come down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he comes down a fair bit. Um, a and then um, Jason Briggs. Oh yeah, Jason comes down. Hasn't come down for a very long time, but Jason Briggs comes down when he. He's awesome. And, yeah, really nice he's, guy um, as well. Not doing his thing. So yeah. So but we have about six. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm. Oh, it's yep. awesome. It's a really cool school. Yeah, because it grew through. I remember when yeah you and your purple belt, and then look at it now. So. It's definitely cool. You've got a cool kids program, like with the, uh, the yelling, and that's where I think I get a lot of my <laughs> coaching from, is where, because I yell and scream at people. And uh, I remember you always used to be at the yelling when I was competing, so I, yeah, I try and pass it on. I reckon it's, um, well, you know, it's, it's awesome when people are yelling it's out. It's a great there. way to do it, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. You need to hear your coach, eh? So it's like, oh! So it's great, but uh, yeah, and. Um, so, yeah, so do you want to just explain where you are? So you're in New Brighton. What's the, you know the address? 185 Shore Avenue. Yeah. Right and beside Domino's. Right beside Domino's. Yep. And, yeah, so get down. Guys, come, come try it out. It's a ton of fun. Great community of people. And, yeah, I, I had a ton of fun tonight. And you'll get to watch some of the roles. And then um, what we're going to do also is we're going to do a wee technique. So the technique tonight we're going to show, Hayden, what, what are you going to show us tonight? Uh, standing guard pass. Uh, it was... Like I say, I've been doing it for a wee while now, so I was saying to John earlier, for a while it was always that closed guard on the ground pass, so mm. tonight we went through the standing guard pass, yep. lifting the person off the ground, and really um, using gravity to do it. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. It's, a, it's an oldie, but a goodie. Yeah, so when we're into, into this position here, so what I want to look to do is use gravity. Um, I said this to Hayden in the weekend, you know, he was struggling to get something out of guard, so, Best way to try and do that, especially when you're big and strong. You know, Hayden, just, just stand up. Okay, try to pull them up out of the, um, and make the gravity do half the work. A couple of different ways we can do this. Um, first of all, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna grab the arm and plant it right on his belly, okay? I'm gonna switch into hands. So we've got a two on one situation into here. Now, make sure the hand that you track is the foot that you stand up on. So I'm gonna go here, bring it up, Close, don't just sit your foot out there here. Close your knee in, so it turns their hip. Okay, so when I'm doing that, is to turn their hip in, so they start to move. Then they start to struggle and move around and all this kind of hoo-ha. And once I get into this one here, I'm going to then bring myself up into this position. Once I get into here, do not go past the head. Okay, but once I get into this position here, I'm just gonna sit right up and pull on this sleeve. Okay, so once I'm pulling on the sleeve and I get into this position here, he can try and reach around and grab my foot and all that kind of stuff, but my balance is pretty good at this stage. His body is starting wanting to hit down. And okay. That's what I want. Okay, he's a, young, he's a light fella, so he can probably hang on a bit longer than most people. Come into the knee. Bounce. As soon as he breaks, I want to step my foot back, okay? If, I, if he's got my foot, then don't stress about it. If he's got my, we'll go if he's got my foot first. I'm gonna come into here like this. It's fine, I'm gonna step back the other one. Trapping the leg in, okay? This now starts to get a really bit of a problem for Brian. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start coming down. Squeezing through, knee slice. I haven't let go of the arm yet. Come through, and now I'm gonna pass into here. Bring my hand on the hip from this side. Never pass. Again, here, grabbing the sleeve, pulling across, bring my other two onto one, pushing down. Knee comes up, turn. See how his hip turns? Posture up, pull up. 
Okay? Like I said, I'm not too fast. You grab my foot. Okay, he's on the hook in here. For him to do anything now, he has to open up his gut. He hooks down, I come straight down over the leg and push down into this way. Close it up and come round. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not too fussed about when I'm standing up. Here, push, roll my hand over, two onto one. Come in, angle. Push posture up, don't go over. Pull up. Bounce. So it comes over, this one's going to come down, into here. Don't let this arm go, not until I'm out. Transfer to the hip, go fast. Any questions? All good? Okay, one, two, three. So yeah, check it out guys, and then um, obviously uh, keep an eye on all the rolls and stuff, and so yeah, and on to the next one. Whoosh! Stop. And there you go.